The following program contains scenes of violence and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Wrestling fans, welcome to Monster Pro Wrestling Monday Night Dynamite. I am your interim commissioner, Jack Hammer, here bringing you one great show on Shaw Television. Featuring a championship match. In one side of the ring, we're going to have the champion, the insane Irishman, going up against the tattooed Terminator. Massive damage. And before you even think about changing that channel, we will also have a retro match from 2016, Monster Pro Wrestling's Eliminator, featuring six competitors. You have the wild child, Tyler James. You have Sidney Steele. You'll have Diablo. You'll have the Asian Adonis Cato, a mystery opponent, and the provincial champion, Chris Parrish. Welcome to Monday Night Dynamite. The Irishman has been part of Monster Pro Wrestling for damn near 14 years. And finally, the Irishman has the MPW Heavyweight title. Now the way this all went down is massive damage. You and I finally, for the first time, tag up at the tournament. Unfortunately, we didn't win more gold. But you know what? I promised you, promised you, that you would get your shot at the MPW Heavyweight title. So you know what? Here we are, you and me. Now there's no denying that the Irishman has been on one heck of a streak lately. You could be the man to end it, Massive Damage, but I just got this title. If you think that you are man enough to step up and take it from me, just bring it on, brother. I'm not hard to find. Finally, finally, Monster Pro Wrestling has granted me a heavyweight title shot. You know, last month, Irishman, we tagged up at the tag team tournament, and we didn't do so well, and I wasn't too happy with you. But I'll tell you what, you're a man of your word, and you're gonna put the title on the line. Well, guess what, buddy? Massive Damage is not afraid of having heavyweight title matches. Massive Damage is quite familiar with heavyweight title matches. You can see I already have a title. So tonight, buddy, there's no favors. Tonight, I am bringing everything I have for the Monster Pro Wrestling title, and I'm taking home all the gold. Irishman, the dream is over, and the nightmare is about to begin. I am so jacked for this match. Tell you what, I'm gonna take nothing away from the Irishman's skill or his tenacity. But he's a turncoat. I know you two have no love loss here, so I have to tread very carefully on uh, how I how I ask you questions in this match. I got a feeling. Ooh. Folks, I'm earning my paycheck tonight. That's for damn sure. Considering I don't have a paycheck, but that's beside the point. Why don't you talk to uh, the Colonel Austin? He might set you up with a job and he'll pay you something. Yeah, but then I have to be nice to him. No, he's got to be nice to you. Well, speak of the devil. What the heck? Hey, what the heck is going on here? I think he wants to show his new hat. I'll bet you that hat cost more than your mortgage. We got Colonel Austin, we got Crazy Core. And we got Nightmare here. Now, Crazy Core last month got injured. I think he said he was. Ha -ha! Let me tell you something, boys. Get him away from that mic! My man right here, Crazy Core, he won a retribution. He's gonna cash in his ripper chance tonight, and he's gonna challenge you for your heavyweight title. So I got news for you, Master Damage. Hit the showers. Get your ass out of here, you cowboy! Oh, Courtesy of Colonel Austin. Wait a, wait a second here. Crazy Core is a former Ripper champion. He loves That's how comfortable we are, people. You don't like that. He just said it. He just said it into a microphone so everybody can hear it. This is what happens 
when you've got a lot of money. shot whenever you want. Crazy Core has not cashed that in until now. Now, I don't know who's, who's more shocked about this. Irish Smith about the cash in or massive damage because he's getting screwed again out of his title shot. I got to admit, I'm a little bit curious on the strategy right now. I don't know that I'd want to be wrestling with a broken ankle or foot. What is it? Foot, ankle? I don't know. From, from what I heard, he kicked some kid like a couple weeks ago, big China. No, 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 that's not crazy, Corp. Hey, he is crazy. Yeah. I, I heard he was kicking some kids in the schoolyard just as they were trying to beat down back in the school there. Call the match. I'm sorry, I'm not a journalist today, folks. And I don't want to get near people from West Lock, Alberta, so. Crazy Corp and the Irishman. You're, right. You're not a journalist. These two guys. Like, like we said, have no love laws for each other. But I really got to question Crazy Core's reasoning here because... You don't suppose the Colonel's just pushing him into this? Maybe the Colonel has a plan? I sure as heck hope so. There is no reason why... Oh, right straight to the eyes. Oh, ho, ho. Wow. have any idea how much that hurts? I, I got a feeling that's like a frying pan going off. Oh! oh I can give you a couple. Uh, I'll, I'll pass, thanks. Let's get back in here, Matt. Got Irish there laying in those elbows in the crazy car. Uh-oh, cra crazy car stuck in that corner. Manages to get out of the way of that splash. That avalanche might have finished him off. I will say this, of course. Hey, wait a second. I'm getting a little aggressive with the ref. I like that. He's got to remember that. Oh, a kendo stick. This, this is not a hardcore match. Uh, but there's the disqualification. So that's what confuses the hell out of me here. The hell? Oh, I needed the gut. No! Shit to the referee. Oh, and another one to the referee. Another one to the referee. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got referee, Co referee Cody in there. Trying to. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's the court, coach? That's kind of crossing the line. But this is definitely over the line here. It's kind of Don't over the line. Don't you dare! Oh 
Jesus. here and you're watching Monster Pro Wrestling. And the next match I'm in is the Eliminator where I'm pitted against five other wrestlers. Tune in to see who will win. Hersh's Auto Body. For all your auto body needs, from insurance claims to full restoration, come see the friendly staff at Hersh's Auto Body, a proud sponsor of Monster Pro Wrestling. Powerhouse Gym. Now with two locations to serve you better, Southside and Downtown. For all your fitness needs, see Darcy at Powerhouse Gym, a proud sponsor of Monster Pro Wrestling. The following program contains scenes of violence and mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. win by pinfall, submission, or over the top rope, and both feet touch the floor. Two people start, tags can happen at any time. All right, are you guys ready to meet your contestants? Steel is in the MPW Eliminator, and that means that the MPW Provincial Championship will not be leaving the One World Empire. For months on end, I've done whatever it takes. I've had Chris Parrish's back and I have made sure that belt has stayed around his waist. So Chris Parrish tonight, after we have eliminated four other men and it comes down to you and me, I can only hope that you'll find that same team spirit, that same commitment to the One World Empire when Sidney Steele walks out MPW Provincial Champion. Tonight, Chris Parrish defends his Monster Pro Wrestling Provincial title against five of the very best athletes that Monster Pro Wrestling has to offer. Tonight, I beat Kato, I beat Diablo, 
I beat Tyler James, I beat Sydney Steele, and I beat this mystery opponent. It doesn't matter who they are, where they come from, I am the measuring stick of this business, and I'm gonna do what I do best, and that is defend my title, because I am the best. What's up, Monster Pro Wrestling fans? Your friendly neighborhood Diablo is coming at you here on Shot TV. And tonight you're gonna see me in the MPW Eliminator. And I've won this match already twice. That's right, the two-time winner of the MPW Eliminator is gonna win it again a third time. There's some stiff competition here. One of the guys who don't even know who he is, we got Sidney Steele, we got Cato, we got Tyler James, and the guy that I hate the most, Chris Parrish. But guess what? I'm gonna win. And the next competitor, 170 pounds, he is a newcomer from Edmonton, Kid Cyrus! Yes, folks, the wild card in this match is Kid Cyrus. He, he showed up here last month and gave Chris Parrish a hell of a run in a provincial title match. A lot of people don't know what they think about him, but he, he's definitely one of those talents that, as we saw last month, he gave Chris Parrish everything he could handle in in that title match. As I said, I've been training with this young kid. My, uh, I, I also double as the Monster Pro Wrestling head trainer. So all these guys at least get a start with me. This kid's really impressed me. Just watch him, watch him enter the ring. That's a flip lands right on his feet. That's just amazing. I used to be able to do that. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? You might have been able to do that maybe, what, 60 years ago? <laughs> There's Tyler James making his return to MPW. The wild child Tyler James, who got the upset victory via disqualification last month against the MPW heavyweight champion, Maniac. Now, he's gotta be alive for the heavyweight title, but for right now, you got to think he's got to be one of the favorites to win tonight. Absolutely. And he has huge history with Chris Parrish. He was part of the Empire. He, he got kicked from the Empire thanks to Chris Parrish. Look at the look, look at the stares he is giving Parrish. Tyler James does not like the Empire. He wants to get his hands on him now. And most notably, Chris Parrish. And Kato. He's got to be one of the most consistent challengers here. The, the lightning kicks that he has are absolutely devastating. He is the former provincial champion. He's the former cruiserweight champion from PPW. He's the former Monster Pro Wrestling heavyweight champion. Again, another guy you got to consider as a favorite in this match. Parrish really has his work cut out for him. With Diablo, Tyler James, the newcomer, Kid Cyrus, and Cato, man. That are, that's and, four strong competitors. And let's remember, Kato never actually lost the title. He had to hand it in when he won the heavyweight championship. That's right. And, and therefore, he never really got a rematch to get it back. And this is his chance to get that title back around his waist. What's your predictions? Oh, I I could go anywhere here. I, I personally think Kato is so, such on a level of consistency here. I gotta see Kato has gotta be the one to get here. What's your thoughts? I'm gonna take an absolute upset because I've watched this kid train. I think Kid Cyrus is gonna upset everybody tonight. The best part is that may not surprise me here. This is so much fun. Yes, and being the commissioner is a lot of fun. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, I'm glad, I'm glad to have the commissioner next to me here. As uh, referee Kevin is uh, grabbing that belt, possibly for the last time from Chris Parrish. This is all about the Monster Pro Wrestling Provincial Championship. Showing off that beautiful belt there, senior referee Kevin. Looks like we're about ready to get started here. Here we go. Is so the ready? rules for the rules for this match for people that don't know is two people start and there are four guys on the outside of the ring. As one guy gets eliminated, the next guy will come in. A Monster Pro Wrestling original right here, ladies and gentlemen. And just remember, there are three ways you can get eliminated in this match. Pinfall, submission, or being thrown over the top rope and having both feet touch the floor. That is the definite X factor here, folks. You gotta have that little uh, special, right? You gotta have something. It looks like Chris Parrish has got his fan club here in spades. 
Raw Double tie up here. Looks like we got Kid Cyrus starting with Chris Parrish. Now, th this could be an advantage for a guy like Kid Cyrus, the fact that nobody knows really what he has to deliver here. You, you see him in the training center, but. I know you watch. You, this you kid's got more moves than a jackrabbit. Look at him go. Here. Ow, early stampede Ooh, wrestling. Then. Early stampede wrestling. I'll a dynamite kid. And there's a pinfall. Oh, right yeah, cover one, one two. two. Just a two count here. Chris Parrish almost gets eliminated right off the bat. Wow. Just within a hair of being eliminated for his own title there. But like the consummate professional, he does not look blown. He does not look... He's right on his game. He's right back up. Well, you got to realize this is a marathon. Ooh. This isn't just a sprint. Right into a nice headlock. This is how you control the head. You control the body. Just, that, just technically sound is Chris Parrish. When you're fighting with a guy like... Off the road. Oh, hey, what a tackle. tackle. Wow. Chris Parrish put him to the dirt. And he lets the crowd know it. That's why the crowd doesn't like it. He lets them know it. Well, Chris Parrish has got to stop gloating and just start wrestling here. Like... Oh, beautiful leap nice. frog. Here we go. Over the top. Hip toss. Oh, oh, hip Cyrus delivers. Here comes an arm drag. Beautiful. Hip deep, there we go. deep arm drag. Wow. wow. Beautiful. He's got, got him covered. One, two. Just back to the arm. And that's, back to the arm. That's got to be surprising there with the fact that he's got two very strong covers on the provincial champion already. Like I said, that's my pick. He's my pick today. Folks, I wonder how many uh, Bobby Heaton change of picks are going to have, but I digress. Uh, <laughs> Only if he gets eliminated be first. Be beautiful, <laughs> beautiful control here by Parrish here. Just managed to reverse it, and now he's just squeezing down on that arm. This is why Parrish is the champion. He knows how to wear his opponents down, and eventually this, this takes its toll on you. I know I've wrestled the guy many times myself. I've won a few, I've lost a few. The guy is a serious competitor. Now I wonder what's gonna happen here with the fact that we have Apple. we have Sydney Steele. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah! Diablo just got out of the way. Cyrus up to the top. What's he doing? Big bow! Yo! What a whip! That could be up on two! Just a two count. Wow, what a maneuver! by Kid Cyrus. That balance he showed on the top rope. Very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Be oh, and there's our and first there's end of the match. Now here's two guys that have a history with each other. Oh! oh double stomp to the arm. Parrish felt that. Now Di Diablo and Parrish have been going at it for almost a year here. Oh, oh right to the eyes. Well, there's no disqualification, so the rope break really doesn't matter here. Oh, and here's the tag. The fans are getting on Parrish. Fans are getting on Parrish. Oh, it looks like the fans are getting more behind Diablo more than anything. Now as Sydney Steele's in there. Now I wonder what, what the, the thoughts are going through Sydney Steele's head. He is a member of the One World Empire, but he does have a chance for that title right now. Is it just me or is Sydney Steele actually trying to wrestle? It's amazing. Well, I haven't seen a dirty maneuver yet. Maybe, maybe it's just me. It, it, it's coming, I'm sure. As he's got the uh, reverse headlock on there. Sydney oh, Steele's been reversal. a little out of sorts with the Empire lately. Well, he hasn't won a match, that's why. There's a schoolboy roll up for two. They think he's too nice. There's another, another roll up, one, two. That could have been it. Another two count. Uh-oh, what's going Oh, collar and elbow tie up here. Diablo's got control of that head, just ringing on it. This may look like an elementary maneuver, but it definitely puts pressure on the temples on the side of your head. Oh, Big huge tackle. shoulder tackle. Flying tackle from Diablo. Crowd loves it. Absolutely. Coming off the ropes once again. Oh, into right, a headlock. right back into that right headlock down. take down. Beautiful. I don't think Steele saw that coming. I thought he was gonna get, he probably thought he was gonna get run over. Yeah, oh, right back the the cover. Two covers. Two co the man from Hell Dorado's got this under control right now. It, we're, we're still waiting our first elimination here. Oh, oh there's a blind tag. Ball. Blind tag it. 
number one. Wow, it seems like everybody's got a history here. Tyler James and Sidney Steele. Sidney Steele managed to come in when Tyler James got booted out of the Empire early last year. Here we go, Chris Parrish and Tyler James. Here we go. Uh-oh, here we go. Chris Parrish and Tyler James. Now this is a long time coming. We, we, I've been waiting to see this. I can't wait to see these two guys get it on. The here fight, we go, ladies and gents. The fight on this has been way back in the Eliminator. Eliminator from last year. Oh, that's Scurry Little. Wow, that was cheap. What a chicken. I, I agree with the crowd. But we got Kato in the ring now. Now these guys really ripped it up at Retribution, no pun intended there. These, Tyler, these two guys are very, very good wrestlers, both right at the top of their game right now, too. They may be friends outside the ring, but this is about the provincial championship, so nobody's gonna take anything for granted right now. Wow. Beautiful Tyler reversal. James is a house of fire. Kato's no slouch either, though. No. Good chain wrestling by, by both of these guys here. They are here. solid. Beautiful the, reversal. Nice reversal there, Used yeah. his leg to get out of an arm hold. You don't see that very often. That's no, very English. Kato is the master of using his legs here, whether it's the kicks or using it for ever, extra leverage here. But then you got the power advantage here with Tyler James. He's been spending the time in the MMA JoJo's here. Wow, oh, what a reversal. Huge backflip. Right back into a headlock. Fuck. Beautiful. These guys control the body here. Tyler James didn't get away from the game plan. Now you gotta respect him. He's put some time into the ring. Big, oh, big, big shoulder tackle here. So Massive, what do you think is the key here for any one of these guys to get a victory? To get a victory early or it's just way up? Wow, look at this. Oh, what by Tyler James. One, two. That was almost the first pinfall. That was wow. beautiful. Crucifix cover there. It's Bro, really, what? honestly, it's it's just surviving, right? Oh. oh. Especially with a shot like that. Push him across the ring into the corner. Oh. Sydney Steele made a tag? That made a lot of sense. Sydney Steele tagged himself in, and as Tyler James came to deliver an offensive blow, Steele jumped in the ring. That was very, very smart. I would say a little bit, why not keep wearing down Kato at this point? You don't give the weaker guy a chance to recover here. But if that's the only guy you can tag and you want to get in the match. What is the but, crowd chanting? I think they're looking for hot dogs right oh, now. Oh, okay. Yeah. The concession sells great hot dogs. They do there. have tremendous hot dogs here. Oh, look at this. Look at this, test the strength, overhand key lock. Almost got the cover. Oh, he got him, got back up, beautiful there. Now, this is Sidney Steele's really impressed me today. He stepped up his game. He's he really has. And he him. looks like he's in fantastic shape. Oh, it looks like he got bridged out here, Tyler James. Tyler James bridges up and into an arm reversal. Beautiful. It's a ham beautiful hammer lock there. We're still waiting our first fall here. We got to be 10 minutes in, and there's been not even anything close to a fall yet. Not even close. Well, oh. as the great JR used to always say, business is about to pick up, ladies and gentlemen, and that, you can guarantee, is going to happen in this match. Yeah, oh, what, what's going on here? Oh! Steel hit Parrish! It's inadvertent, but I don't know if... I don't know if he knows it or not. Looks like they're on the... Oh. Could that be our That's first pinfall? One, two, three. We got one. Three count. Wow, the Empire is self-destructing. Chris Parrish is by himself against possibly four of the best light heavyweight wrestlers in this whole promotion. If you want to call Tyler James or Cato a light heavyweight, they're both been heavyweight champion. Oh, that, this is going to be very interesting. Uh -oh. oh, Diablo's already in the ring. I think Diablo wants a piece of Tyler James. Oh! Oh! oh, he, oh, oh what a kick! That kick was all the way from Hell to Auto. That stiff little goober. Well, these shots definitely are worthwhile, what they're doing. Oh, off the ropes, a wrestle. Coming up. Oh, is it? Going for the tilt-a-roll. Could this be? Could this be? 
Come on, Throbs. Went for the 666. It got blocked. He does it. He does it every show. You got to switch your offense up. Uh oh, what's, oh. The, what's James doing here? Looks like he's going for a power bomb. Oh, reverses it. Beautiful. Right back into position. Can he, get, can he get it? He's got him. Boom. 666. Six, six. Beautiful. That could be enough for him. Oh, looks like he's going for a lariat now. Wow. Big lariat in the corner. Diablo has to be the fastest guy. He's got to be the fastest guy. One of the guy. fastest guys around. Wow. Oh, right in the corner. Oh, there's the blind tank to perish. Beautiful standing blockbuster. There was a tag to perish, though. Blind tag to perish. Oh, oh no, no, wow. not this way. Terrible. Oh. Diablo didn't see the tag. Now he's gone. That's terrible. That is absolutely horrible. I can't believe got, Diablo's out of the match. I got, can't believe that. He got screwed by Parrish again. Again. When will this stop? Kid Cyrus is in the ring. Here we go. Oh! Big kicks! There is no way that Kid, Kid Cyrus could do this. Oh, I know Cyrus. it's your pick, but... Cyrus takes a brutal... Good job, Diablo! Big hand for Diablo on that, but... Chris Parrish now, and looks like he's starting to assert himself in here. Looks like he might have the, the advantage here. Wow, he's Parrish really still has, He still has his work cut out. There's still three very good wrestlers left that he has to beat. I don't think he cares. He, he's got that ego that doesn't matter. Oh, there we go with the cover. Just a two count. If anybody can do it, it's Parrish, though. He's, he's proven himself to be one of the best athletes, as I said, and, and pound for pound, one of the best in Canada, for sure. Well, he survived right to the end of the uh, last year's Eliminator, and it took a flux capacitor from Diablo to finish him off. So I don't know what it's going to take out of these guys to finish him off here at this point. Looks like the crowd's trying to get behind Kid Cyrus here. They love him. Just trying to get that little separation. Oh. There's Parrish with a handful of masks. Brutal. Oh, I laid the boots down to him there. Chris Parrish knows every dirty trick in the book and he's not afraid to use them all. Oh, a huge elbow to the back of the head. Okay, okay, enough with the showboating. Uh oh, he's got him up in a fireman's carry. Oh, into that gut buster. He does that so well. Textbook gut buster there. Hey, what the hell is this? Not again. Oh, there's a two count there. Are but these guys seriously think they're going to come and interfere in a match? You'll have to pardon me again, sir. Yeah, by all means, Massive leaving the uh, broadcast position here. I don't know what's going to happen here, but... Oh, there's a knee in the back. And a surfboard of the arms here as uh, Massive's trying to uh, excommunicate the rest of the One World Empire from ringside. But in the meantime, Kid Cyrus is in a world of hurt here right now. Ribcage getting spread out by Chris Parrish. Looking to get more separation here. Comes off the ropes. Flip over. Go over a sunset flip. He's got him over one, two. No, he gets out of it. There's going to be no interference. Right? Are you well, we, got, we got Bulldog I just sent, I just sent one of these guys back. Wow, you're getting, Massive's getting his mileage in right now. All this is shit. Well, folks, there's a melee going at ringside here, but in the meantime, Chris Parrish is absolutely cleaning up on Kid Cyrus in the corner there. Chris Parrish getting, uh, getting held up by these guys. Oh. Yeah. 
You can hear Massive in the background here cleaning house. Let's take this back to the ring here, folks. Chris Parrish coming across with the... Oh, he missed the splash! I don't know what's going to... What a drop kick right into the corner! Beautiful! Beautiful hanging drop kick there. Uh-oh, Cyrus going up to the top here. This could be interesting. Kid Cyrus up to the top. What's he gonna do? One, two, three. Oh! Sit on Bob! One, two, three! Oh my god! Wow, what just happened? Kid Sarah, it just happened! Wow! Oh, a small package bomb! So smart. Oh, and he kicked out! Kato, so out. smart to go for the advantage though. But folks, we got a shocker here. We are going to have a new Monster Pro Wrestling Provincial Champion as Chris Parrish has been eliminated. Hey, wait. Parrish is trying to get back in here. What the? Oh, here comes Madison. Folks, there. Mass is cleaning house here right now, but the action's more in the ring here. Oh, what's going on here? Cyrus flipped. Oh, he attempted to flip over, but he got blocked by Kato. Oh, there's a straight reversal. So we're down to Tyler James, Kato, and Kid Cyrus here for the provincial wow. title. Look at, look at the chain wrestling going on. These guys are amazing. Well, you got to go with the instincts here. Going off the, oh, beautiful spot. Oh, That's going to wrench your shoulder out. Shoulder block to the chest. Where are we here going we go. here? Flips over. Off the ropes. Oh, beautiful oh, 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 This is it. Slick blade. Slick blade. Is that it? Get the cover. One, two. two. Oh. oh. Just a two count. I thought he had him. I didn't think Kid Cyrus had that sling blade in him. That was amazing. What a performance by the kid right now. Kid Cyrus has really got this crowd on the edge of their seat. And here we go. Big hey, close line of the corner. Line. And here we go. Uh oh, he's going to back he's up. Going to the back top. up. What, what's he going to do here? Big oh, oh, That could be it. That's what's the leg? Be. One, two. two. No! Oh. And you can see Tyler James just seething outside. Dying to get into this match here. If I was him, I'd just stay out of there. What uh -oh, we what's going on here? here? Back up to the top. No way. Oh, he lands on his feet. Oh, the drop toe hold. Right into I, the turnbuckle. Did, this is just exciting. This is just wow. unbelievable. Kid Cyrus pulling off Teddy Hart type moves here tonight. Wow. Now these guys going back and forth here. This is anybody's ball game here, folks. You just don't know. I, I predicted Kid Cyrus was going to win it all. I, my prediction is looking pretty good right now. I took Kato. It's still, oh, he, lo he looks like he's having a bit of trouble here. Oh, uh oh Kato went caught for that tornado him. DDT. Kato oh, I got him. caught in the corner. Kato caught him. Uh oh, this is not good news. Oh! I don't know if he got all of it there, but I think he got enough. What is he going to do? Kato is one of these crazy, innovative guys. He's going to do something crazy. Off the top. Here What's he, he comes. doing? Oh! Buster off, off the, the top. top! I've never oh. seen that done. That's going to be it. That's it. One, two, three. <laughs> you know what? As much as he got eliminated, you got to hand it to the kid here. His second match at MPW. What a performance. But this all comes down to Kato versus Tyler James. What what a show, what a night. And we're going to have a new provincial champion no matter what. These are two of the guys that we, you know, you had said Kato at the beginning of the night. And I had said, you know, Tyler James coming back is looking good. This is... Wow, I predicted Kid Cyrus who made it almost to the end. Wow, it, 
and both these guys, oh, 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 that almost, that almost won it. Remember, both feet have to hit the floor. Nope, didn't make it. Uh-oh, this could be trouble for, for Tyler J. Uh-oh, uh-oh, if either guy hits the floor, it's over. Whoa! Both of them using the guardrail. Wow! Oh, no, that was <laughs> insane. Wow. Have you ever seen anything like that? I, I haven't. Both honestly. guys were on the outside, one foot on the apron, one foot on the, 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 the guardrail, guard just, and just, neither one of them got eliminated. Just inches away from being eliminated there. The crowd doesn't even know what to think. They're blown they're, away. They're in shock right now. They just now. want to see someone win. Wow. Oh my good. Both of these guys just looking to gain that little bit of an advantage. All they need is to get that three count here. Uh oh, is he down for the cover? No, nope, one shoulders up, says referee Kevin. He bridged out into that uh, side headlock here. Uh oh, he's down two. Just a two count there. Whoa. Look, they're getting up to a vertical base here. Oh, it looked like he went for a belly to back suplex. Tyler but James got is keeping here. that headlock on. He's so smart. He won't let just, go of the headlock. Just a little shift of the weight is all you need to flip him over there and regain control here. So Tyler James really taking the lead in this match. Kato, got, Kato's reversing every time though. Kato's got a way out. These, these guys have to try and get some separation here. Both of these men know, know how to stick and move and get some high impact moves in. But with this close here, it's just a complete tie-up between both guys. They're both such bad. What's this now? Oh, what's this? Tyler James. He's got him in a Boston Crab. Oh, and what a way to get there. He did some crazy rolling maneuver. You got to think that this might be it right here. That's what the Boston Crab. This could be Can it. Can he get to the ropes? Can he get to the ropes? Kato just inches away. Can he get to the ropes? Oh, oh no, Tyler him. James pulls him in and sinks down. He is could, sinking down. Could this be it, folks? Could this be it? We got a new provincial champion on the way. Can Kato get to the ropes? Kato is struggling. He is on the ropes. Oh, he got to the ropes. He got to the ropes. I thought Tyler James had it. Whoa, that was so close there. But the damage has been done to the back of Kato there. This is insane, this ladies is, and this, gentlemen. This, Big this, chop by Tyler James. This is the main event of the MPW Eliminator. Off Eliminate. the ropes, off reversal. The ropes. Oh, what's he doing here? Kato's oh, looking for the same. Oh, single leg roll up into a crab. Kato's looking for the same move. No, this is a single leg crab. Putting extra pressure on the hip. With that, with that weight on balance by grabbing the one leg. Yeah, LLS, Makes the extra pressure LLS, on the hip. LLS, Storm, he did the drop down, rolled right backwards into the half grab. Very much like Lance Storm used to do back in his ACW days. And the biggest thing is Kato's sitting right down on it. Putting the extra pressure right on the knee there. And Tyler James got so to the rope. Barely gets the rope. I think that was just pure power by Ch Tyler James. That was amazing. That was absolutely phenomenal there. Uh oh. What Looks like got James here? got a problem here with his leg. We got a roll up here. There we go. Schoolboy, one, one, two. Tyler James. Just a two is count. What a match. What? I, it's going to be hard coming off the ropes here. Oh, rolls through, float over, one, two, no! Kick out. Two and a half. I thought that was three for sure there. Wow, what? this match is going back and forth, folks. There can't be much left either way here. Off the ropes, uh-oh, what's he going here? Going for a backslide? Another that was a shock that was just two there. Folks, I, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words here. What's, the, what's one man got to do to take care of the other here to finish it off? Oh, flicks it across. Rolls over, flips over one, two. No, just a two. This is going to be a heck of an ending here. Okay. Uh oh, what we got here? Big crossbody. He went for the crossbody, got blocked. What's he gonna go for here? Oh, he went for that tilt to world side slam here and he missed it. 
Kato's fighting back hard, but Big you can tell elbows. these guys are tired. Big oh, kick. is he going for the stutter? He's going for a stutter. He, he didn't get it this time. What do we Stop got? Uh-oh. Kato rolls it up. There it is. One, two, one, two, two, oh, oh, one, one, two, one, two, three. We got a new champion. Oh. Our new. What a match. Our new MPW Provincial Champion. What a fantastic match. Kato. I don't think Tyler James can believe it right now. I've known that kid for a long time. I think he's upset, but I don't think he's going to do anything silly. I think he's going to give him the title and raise his hand. That's the way a real champion acts. That's right. Wow. He's a good kid. It's really nice to see that. But folks, the shocking thing is here. Kato is our new MPW Provincial Champion. But what a match. That Eliminator every year just gets better. This year did not disappoint. What an insane show. What an insane match. Oh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen next month. What an absolute insane card here on Monster Pro Wrestling home video here. Massive, your thoughts on the card overall? I thought it was a heck of a card. It was nice to see uh, no interference. We got a new champion. There's, they're, they're, uh, I think Nelson sees something here in uh, not having a bunch of interference all the time. We got to keep that up. Yeah, absolutely here. We'll have to talk to him about this. Today. I got to go shake some hands. These guys, just they, they threw their bodies on the line. Absolutely. Thanks, thanks MPW, thanks fans, and thanks Mike for having me. Well, folks, that is, uh, we're going to wrap this up here from the Boston Pro Wrestling Eliminator Show 2016. This is Mike the Ref on behalf of Massive Damage. And remember, this is Monster Pro Wrestling, pro wrestling the way it should be. Hirsch's Auto Body, for all your auto body needs. From insurance claims to full restoration, come see the friendly staff at Hirsch's Auto Body, a proud sponsor of Monster Pro Wrestling. Powerhouse Gym, now with two locations to serve you better, Southside and Downtown. For all your fitness needs, see Darcy at Powerhouse Gym, a proud sponsor of Monster Pro Wrestling. Ever had thoughts of becoming a wrestler? Dreams of being a part of the squared circle? Whether you're male or female, check out the Monster Pro Wrestling Training Center located at Gold's Gym Westmount in Edmonton. Two 20-foot rings. But enough of me talking about it. Let's talk to the promoter, Massive Damage. All right, we're here with Massive Damage at the uh, Monster Pro Wrestling Factory, the training facility here. Factory. <laughs> um, how, how long has the factory been around for with Massive? Well, Monster Pro Wrestling has been training people since, I want to say, 2002. I think we had our first uh, ring set up in a building, and we have evolved to having two rings set up at Gold's Gym in Westmount Mall, which you can't really ask for a better place you got weights and cardio equipment and showers and two professional wrestling rings up you got myself uh, Canadian Hall of Fame wrestler you got uh, Phil LaFon who's a legend in Japan former WWE and ECW alumni we got heavyweight champion the Irishman today guest training doing a little bit of work with the ladies division today. I've been working kind of with the fellas today. We've got a lot of new students and it's exciting. So if you want to get a hold of some training, we're going to have a website and a number at the bottom of the screen. Get a hold of me and this could be your future. There you have it folks. 
If you want to make a dream come true, stop by the Monster Pro Wrestling Training Center in West Mount Mall at Gold's Gym and get trained by the best. Monster Pro Wrestling Training Academy, training futures with pro wrestling the way it should be. When I was 11 years old, the first time I ever tried marijuana. He's called Massive Damage in the Ring, a name which shadows the period of his life where he was an addict. He shared his story with grade four students at Lacombe Upper Elementary School, and he didn't hold back. I probably had to bury 20 of my friends because of addiction problems in my, in about a three year time period. And uh, I'm, I'm someone that has had to come through an addiction problem himself. Damage speaks to kids through the Canadian National Wrestling Alliance Fight for Life program. He feels it's the duty of all pro athletes to give back to the community in some way, especially for the kids. The world has changed so much and I think it is so important that we get to these kids at a young age and start hammering this message through to them about you know positive life choices as well as the negative ones to stay away from. The message is a little different from Red Deer's Vance Nevada. He wants kids to keep their dreams alive because for him, it's opened many doors. It's given me the opportunities to get into television, speaking engagements in universities, and all of these types of things. Damage lives by a simple philosophy. People make choices, and it's a mix of good and bad. We just need to really learn from those bad ones. I always like to bring up an old Confucius quote is the smart man is the one that le uh, learns by the other's mistakes. The dumb man is the one that continually has to learn from his own. Damage keeps a reminder on his own body about two friends who lost their lives in their battles. And he wants these grade fours to remember, if you're facing a struggle, talk to someone. There's always someone that'll, you know, lend an ear. There's always a teacher, a principal, a constable, uh, the kid's help phone. Uh, a counselor, there's always someone that'll listen and maybe can guide you down a better path. Jim Claggett, Shaw TV, Lacombe. I'm a very, very proud member of AA.